So if you are traveling to France and you want to know how to save up to 20% on almost all of the purchases you make while traveling, this video is for you. We're gonna be breaking down exactly how to take advantage of VAT refunds and you might be surprised to find out just how easy it is. Welcome to the French Entree YouTube channel. My name is Zoe, and I'm delighted today to be joined by Jean-Marie, CEO and co-founder of ZapTax. Now, if you're a resident in a non-EU country and you're visiting or traveling to France, you may or may not know that you can claim back the VAT or TVA, TVA as it's called in France, on many of the purchases that you make while you're in the EU. However, there is a very specific process you need to carry out in order to benefit from these tax refunds, which is where ZapTax comes in. Essentially, it's a mobile phone app that simplifies the VAT refund process. And Jean-Marie is going to talk us through exactly how it works. He's going to tell us who can use it, what kinds of purchases you can use it for, and everything else you need to know to get started with ZapTax. So Jean-Marie, thank you so much for joining us today, and welcome to French Entree. Uh, to get us started, would you like to just introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about ZapTax? Yes, thank you, Zoe. Thanks for having me. Um, yeah, my name is Jean-Marie. I'm the co-founder and CEO of ZapTax. We founded ZapTax five years ago we, with the purpose of make it, making tax refunds easier for travelers coming from outside of the EU and making purchases in the EU. So, yeah, so, so far we, we've, you know, we've uh, built the business to uh, a 25-people team. We have two offices, one in China and one in, here in Brussels. And, uh, you know, we are active for purchases made in France, Belgium, and Spain for the moment. Great. So I think most people are aware of VAT or TVA, which is a type of goods and services tax that's added to just about anything that you might purchase while you're in France or in the EU. And it can account for up to 20% of the price that you pay. Uh, but what many travelers to France aren't aware of is that you might actually be able to apply for a VAT refund and get some of that money back. So Jean-Marie, can you explain uh, how this VAT refund process works and who is eligible for it? Yeah, just maybe to take a, a, you know, a broader perspective. Indeed, as you mentioned, VAT is a, is a consumption tax. And actually, this tax uh, should be paid when you consume the goods that you buy or the services that you buy on the, on the fiscal territory of the, of the place where you buy them. So if you buy goods in Europe and you consume these goods in Europe, you are supposed to pay this VAT. But if you buy things in Europe and you consume the goods outside of the EU, well, you are not supposed to pay this VAT. That's why, for example, a company exporting a, a container from France to the US, well, it's going to invoice without VAT because the goods are being exported and consumed outside of the EU. Now, when, uh, you know, when uh, they devised uh, the, the VAT system at the European level, they said, hmm, but how are we going to do with travelers? Because actually they are coming to the EU, they are buying goods, and they are taking these goods with them. So actually they are going to consume these goods outside of the EU. Uh, well, we have the difficulty here because they are going to buy goods in store, and you know, they're going to pay the VAT. We cannot ask users, travelers, to pay without VAT in store because the goods have not yet been exported yet. OK, and so that's why they devised this scheme to get the VAT back for non-EU travelers taking the goods back with them. But the way it's supposed to work, you need to prove of export. And that's why in the traditional system, you go to a store, you make a purchase, you buy with VAT and you get a form from the store. That form, you actually you go to the airport, you get the form validated, stamped. And that's actually the proof of export. It's, it's, it's only at that moment that you are actually entitled to get this VAT back, okay? So once the, this form is a proof of export, it's, a, it's, a, it's an official customs document. You get the form stamped, you bring it back to the, to the store and the store is then entitled to refund you. So that's basically the, the, the overall principle of tax refund. I think it's important for people to understand what's behind it, okay? Um, so, you know, tax refunds have been around for 30 years, almost, since, you know, VAT was unified at the European level. But the, the process has been a little bit cumbersome for travelers because it involves a lot of paperwork. You know, you, you would have to fill out forms in store. 
with a lot of details about yourself, about the products. Then you will have to queue at the airport, get this paper form stamped, return the forms to, to the store, wait for the store to get organized to pay you back. And so basically, when you look at the figures, you know, before the, the pandemic, you had roughly 150 million people coming from outside of into the EU. And, you know, maybe 10 to 15 percent of, of those people were actually using the scheme because of the complexity of it and the fact that it was too cumbersome. And so if in a nutshell, our mission in life, Zaptax, I mean, is to kind of make it easier for travelers, you know, to get these refunds. And that's why we developed this app and the system. I, I can explain it uh, uh, further. Yeah. And so this is available to residents outside of the EU? Indeed, yes. Uh, one, one condition to be eligible is that you have to be a resident outside of the EU. Which it's important to understand that it's not a condition of nationality, it's a condition of residence. So let me give you a few examples. If you are an American living in the US or a Chinese living in China, you come to France, you are eligible to tax refunds. If you are a Chinese diplomat, for example, in Europe, or a Chinese businessman working for a, a multinational in France, in Paris, and you go back to China to visit your family, you are actually resident of France. You, can, you are not eligible to tax refund. On the contrary, if you are a French citizen or a Belgian citizen, and you reside outside of the EU, in the US, in Africa, in, in Asia, you come back to visit your family, well, you are entitled, you are eligible to tax refunds when you buy goods in France. That's a principle, yeah. Right, that makes sense. So sadly, I live in France, so I wouldn't be able to benefit from this. No. <laughs> However, I do have a lot of friends and family back in the UK who travel re regularly to France. And of course, many of our French entree listeners own second homes in France and will be coming to France regularly. So this is clearly something that they should be taking advantage of. So let's get into some of the details about it. Firstly, what kinds of purchases does this VAT refund apply to? It applies to pretty much everything. Every goods that you buy and that you take back with you to your country of residence. So let me make clear that it's not applicable to services because by definition, services, you cannot take them with you and consume them outside of the EU. I mean, you cannot take a taxi ride with you, a hotel stay with you. So it's only goods. You have some obvious exclusions like, uh, you know, uh, explosives, uh, guns, uh, drugs, and things like that. Tobacco as well, tobacco products. But for the rest, pretty much everything is eligible. You know, clothes, um, electronics, you know, uh, jewelry, watches, um, food as well is eligible to tax refund. Yeah, we get this question quite often, but there is no problem with food. You can buy your camembert, your saucisson, and take it back to, to, uh, to the UK without problem and get a tax refund for it. So pretty much everything. There are very few exceptions. Wow. So it really does apply to pretty much anything you might buy while you're in France or in the EU, assuming you're then taking it back to your home country. So I can't get 20% off my restaurant bill or hotel bill. But if you're buying clothes, souvenirs, goods, yeah, yes. that refund is possible. Great. So do you have to buy from a specific place or certain shops in order to claim this tax refund? Or can I shop in my local Leclerc or pick something up at Gallery Lafayette? Yes, that's one of the advantages of, of, of our system, uh, ZapTax, is that, you know, in the traditional way of doing tax free shopping, you know, it, it's a faculty for, for store. It's not an obligation. And so, of course, if you go to Paris or you go to the, to the French Riviera or to the Alps, you will find, you know, maybe 60, 70, 80 percent of stores will provide a tax, tax free shopping uh, system. But once you venture out of these touristic spots, you know, most uh, merchants uh, do not offer a tax refund system. And that's, you know, the beauty of our systems at tax is that it works in every store across uh, a given territory. For example, in France, you have 600,000 retail points uh, across the, the French territory. Um, maybe 30, 40,000 uh, provide a tax uh, free shopping service. Uh, and so you are excluded 
uh, from tax-free shopping in all the other stores. Well, with our system, you can basically uh, get your tax refund everywhere in France, in any store. Yeah. Wow. So that's a huge advantage for people. Indeed. Um, Indeed. Okay, so the most important question, how much money can I save? How much money can I get back? Yeah, well, um, you know, I think we, we provide a refund of, of on average, uh, 85% of the VAT, which is, I think, from what I see, the best uh, rate in the market. Traditional tax-free shopping schemes offer about 70% uh, refund. We go to 85%. So that means that if you express that in, uh, in terms of the percentage of the, the amount tax included, it's about 14.5% uh, of uh, the value of what you paid in store. Okay, The maximum being, that's a little bit arithmetic, maximum on a 20% on a VAT, you know, the, the maximum tax refund that you could ever get is 16.33% because that's the amount of VAT divided by the total amount. So we provide 14.5%, that's 85% of the VAT. Let me, let me give you an example. If you buy something worth 1,200 euro VAT, you have 1,000 euro without VAT, 200 euro VAT, which is uh, 20%, and we are going to uh, refund you 170 euro being 85 percent of 200 euro it's definitely worth doing so i presume that zap, ta zap tax is taking commission somewhere so am i going to save less money if i use zap tax than if i did the tax refund process myself no uh, no on the contrary you are going to to get more because the the, the standard uh, refund rate when you use a traditional tax-free shopping scheme in store is uh, around 70%. So let's take, again, this example of 1,200 euro, 200 euro VAT, you do it in store, you get 140 euro. You do it with Zaptax, you're, gonna, you, you're going to get 170 uh, euro back. So the, the difference is, is 30 euro, so it's, um, it's quite significant. And the other advantage with, uh, with Zaptax is that you can also, uh, we are going to consolidate all your purchases for one single trip, and we are going to apply the, the rate corresponding to the global amount you purchased. And we go up to 90% of uh, the VAT if your total basket is uh, above 2,500 euro. Yeah, so uh, this is the highest refund rate in the market pretty much, yeah. Wow, well, okay, so yeah, it definitely sounds like it's, it's more beneficial to use Zaptax <laughs> rather than trying to do it on your own. I think you've already answered a little bit of this, but how does Zaptax differ from the existing systems that are already out there? There are a couple of advantages to use Zaptax. The first one I've already mentioned is the fact that we are going to refund you more than what you get through a traditional uh, tax free shopping schemes. Uh, the second is that we are going to refund you faster, huh? usually within 24, 48 hours. Whereas in the traditional tax free shopping schemes, it would take sometimes one, two, three, four weeks to get your money back. And I think that's a, a big added value because, you know, when people travel back and travel, uh, you know, intercontinental, when they go back, you know, it's, it's a, you're out of your comfort zone. You, you have a lot in your mind, a lot, lot of, lots of things going on. And you just, once you set foot in the plane, you want to, to forget about tax refund. You want your money to be already on your account and you don't have to worry about it. So that's why we think it's important to refund fast. Uh, another advantage is the, the simplicity and the ease of use because you are going to consolidate all your tax refunds in one single place uh, in, 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 our, um, in our app. Uh, another advantage is that, you know, as I mentioned earlier, it applies in all the stores across a given territory and also for your online purchases. So that's quite interesting. For example, if you are still in the UK, but you plan to travel to, uh, to France and you have friends who live there, for example, you can make a purchase online, get it delivered to your friends in, the, in France. And when you travel to, the, to France, you can pick up the goods and get a tax refund with Zaptax. So that's another advantage. A fourth advantage, I think, is that uh, we provide a very good customer support, customer service, 24-7 uh, through phone uh, lines, chat, email. And that's 
quite important because, you know, uh, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of people are just not aware of, first of all, the existence of a tax-free shopping scheme and the way it works. And so you have a long process. It starts when you download the app and it finishes when we refund you and you have a lot of things to do in between. Um, and so, I mean, people have questions. And so it's, it's very convenient to ask questions when you feel like asking them and you get a, a quick re response in function of where you stand in the process. So customer support is really important. Five, we refund, you know, we globalize your purchases to offer a better rate. And we also allow you to get tax refunds on small purchases. Because in France, as you may know, you cannot edit a, a tax reform if your purchase is not above 100 euro. So let's say if you go to a store and you purchase something for 90 euro and you ask for a tax uh, free form, the, the merchant will not be able to edit one for you because you must be above 100 euro. Well, what we do at ZapTax, we consolidate your small purchases and we can edit a tax reform, for example, for three purchases of 50 euro. Uh, so that's a, a, another advantage. So you have a combination of things that uh, make it you know, more advantageous for you to, to use ZapTax instead of the, the, the traditional tax-free shopping scheme. Yeah. Great. Well, so there's a couple of things I just want to touch on there. The first one, I didn't realize that this was available for online purchases. So thinking of our audience, and we have a lot of second homeowners. So if I'm a second homeowner uh, in France, but I live in the UK, I could order something in France to, to my address in France, pick that up when I come to France. And then when I go back to the UK, I can claim back that tax on it. Is that yeah. correct? That's correct. And we get a lot of transactions like uh, like those you know from from people from uh, across the world uh, expats living uh, in singapore in the us they purchase online they get the goods delivered at, the, at their family or the friends and and they pick them up and, and bring them back brilliant i think that's something people will be really interested to to know about and so the other thing was you mentioned that zaptax allows you to make smaller purchases mm -hmm. um, but is there a maximum amount like can how much does this tax free apply to the sky is the limit there is no maximum amount we've seen uh, we've seen very uh, you know people buy jewelry watches um, there is there is no maximum amount i mean just for the for the anecdote i, I was once talking to a, a guy who had uh, 10 15 years experience in the tax refund uh, industry he told me that his biggest transaction ever was a, a 1 million euro a diamond uh, that was delivered to a boat on the French Riviera and that, uh, you know, customs had to send a special team on the boat to validate the tax, uh, re the tax free form. <laughs> so, you know, there is no limit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, I don't know how many of our listeners are going to be uh, ordering a diamond to the French Riviera, but it's good to know that you can do it. <laughs> yeah, we, we unfortunately for us, we have not had uh, such transactions yet. But we see the, the value of, of transactions increasing because people, uh, you know, we have recurrent users and people start, I mean, have trust in, in the way we work and they, they start to, to upload uh, bigger transactions. So, <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I'm convinced. So let's look at how this actually works in practice. So let's say I'm a UK or a US resident and I'm traveling to France. I download the ZapTax Zap app. What do I do next? How does it work? All right, so you, you download the app, you create your account. Uh, it's free of charge. You create it by um, you know, putting an email and, and choosing a password. Then we are going to ask you to fill out your profile. We need some uh, basic information about you. It's basically because we need to reproduce that information on the forms. So what we're going to ask you is your address of residence, passport number, uh, expiration date, name, etc. Uh, and we are also going to ask you to provide a, a copy of, of your passport, okay? We ask you a refund method as well, PayPal, a credit card number, or bank account number. Once you've done that, you indicate your travel dates. What's important for us is to know when you are going to leave the EU so that we can organize uh, the preparation of your documents. Once that is set, you can start making purchases. What is important is that when you make purchase in store or online, 
you need to request an invoice built to the name of Zaptax. That's very important because that's a condition for us to get this VAT back before we refund it to you. So you, you go to store and at the moment of payment, you ask to the store staff, can you edit an invoice with VAT at the name of a company? Here, is, here are the details of the company, Zaptax, 23 Rue Jean-Jacques Rousseau, 75001 Paris, very simple. So once you get that invoice, you take a picture of it on the app, you repeat the exercise for all your purchases, we validate those invoices we, on, on our back end. And before you departure, we are going to edit one or several tax reforms for you. We are going to send them to you by email and make them available on the app. So let's imagine the next day you leave from Charles de Gaulle Airport or Orly Airport. You present yourself at the airport. And before checking in, that's important, before checking in, you go to the customs uh, desk, for example, at Charles de Gaulle, you have one customs desk at, in every terminal. And next to these desks, you have little electronic kiosks. They are called Pablo kiosks. That's the name of the system. You pull up your forms uh, on your phone. You present, because each form has a barcode, you present the barcode under the electronic barcode reader of the kiosk, and the kiosk will validate your form the, the screen will turn green, and that means that uh, your form is validated. You can proceed. We are going to be notified, and we are going to refund you uh, within 24, 48 hours. In a few instances, the screen can turn red. In that case, you must present yourself to a customs officer nearby who's going to do a random check. Uh, maybe the, the, the officer is going to ask you, can, we, can you show me this article or that article? Or can you um, uh, show me your passport? But that's, uh, you know, maybe one case out of 100 or 200. Most of the time, the forms are validated at the kiosk and, and it's really seamless for you. That's how it works. <laughs> wow, it's actually a lot more simple than I thought. But you do need to remember to validate these tax reforms before you leave France. And so can you do this in where? At any airport? Yes. I mean, I mean, let's take uh, the cases of, uh, you know, uh, UK residents. Uh, most of them are going to travel back either by plane from Orly or Roissy, Charles de Gaulle or other airports. Most airports in France are equipped with these Pablo kiosks. So that's pretty easy. What we see also a lot of travelers, of course, traveling back uh, through Eurostar from Paris Gare du Nord or sometimes from Brussels Gare du Midi. What uh, they need to do there, in, on the, to the contrary to, to airports, where you need to first validate your forms and then proceed with the check in of your bags. You cannot do it the other way around because if you are going to, if the, the customs officer asks you, to present an article, you of course, you need to have your luggage with you. So you need to do it at the airport. You need to do it before you check in. At uh, Paris Gare du Nord uh, railway station, it's the opposite. You first pass the security checks because you have your luggage with you. And it's after the security check, check that you have a little area with several kiosks and a customs desk. Same thing at uh, Gare du Midi, Eurostar terminal at Gare du Midi in Brussels. And then you have a third a main option, which is the Eurotunnel. And there, what uh, the way it works is you, you drive in with your car. You have a first control for, you know, um, a ticket control. And then you have a small road that you need to follow before uh, border control. And between these two controls, you have a small area where you can park uh, with a building. And in that building, uh, you have several kiosks and uh, a customs desk. So... Pretty straightforward, in fact. Okay, so thinking specifically of UK visitors, what about if somebody was coming uh, by ferry? Are there any of these uh, ferry ports? Yes, you have uh, ferries at uh, Dunkerque and also Calais. And uh, they are also equipped with kiosks. Uh, and so you need to, before you uh, board the, the ferry, you need to get the forms validated at the kiosk or by a customs officer. Same thing, same principle. 
Great. And is there anywhere that you can find out where these kiosks are? Is there any any website or anything where you can search for uh, them? Well, you can, uh, you know, if you go to our FAQ on our website, uh, you have one question which deals with, with that aspect specifically. And there is a link with a full list of all the exit points in France where you have a kiosk. Yeah. Ah, brilliant. Okay. Mm -hmm. That would be really useful. So the other thing that you mentioned, so it's obviously important to validate these tax reforms before you leave the country, but it's also really important when you purchase things that you get this invoice um, to zap tax. But what happens if, um, I mean, does it ever happen that stores don't want to do that or that they're not familiar with the process? What, what can you do in that situation? Uh, yeah, these things happen. There can be uh, many reasons why uh, stores uh, are not capable of, of editing an invoice. Uh, you know, sometimes it's the, the, the store staff who's not really aware on, on uh, how to, to edit an invoice. So what you need to do in that case is we, we accept exceptionally that you submit to us a simple receipt, a, a till receipt or but you need to annotate it by uh, writing on it that it was purchased on behalf of Zaptax or on the name of Zaptax. You put your name, you sign it, and we will uh, process these, these receipts uh, instead of a, a full-fledged uh, invoice. But this should remain exceptional. What we notice is that, you know, uh, in the majority of cases, 90%, and, and we are getting more known by stores now after uh, several years of uh, operation. And, um, you know, the situation is improving and it's, it's less and less frequent. Yeah. Great. Okay. So that's good to know. So I've made my purchases. I've received my invoices under the name of ZapTax. I've entered them into the app, validated the tax reforms. I've done everything I need to do. I leave the country. How much time do I need to wait before I get my refund? And how does how do I receive it? Well, you know, as I, as I said, it's um, 24, eight, uh, 48 hours most of the time. Sometimes it's a little bit longer, I have to admit. Uh, and that's related to, uh, you know, more uh, the summer uh, period and the Christmas period when we have a lot more volume to, to process. Uh, and where also the tax authorities are, I mean, you know, the French <laughs> sometimes, I mean, in, in August, it's, it's, it's very slow. Um, take, uh, for, I mean, tax authorities take a little bit longer to process our requests. And so in that case, we, it can take a, a little bit longer, several weeks at the max. But what we usually do in, when that happens, we, we send individual messages to our users telling them that, uh, you know, it's going to take a little bit longer. Okay, great. And so finally, this app isn't just available in France, is it? Can people use it in other countries if they're traveling around the EU? Yes, indeed. It's uh, for the moment we uh, Zamtax works for purchases made in in France, of course, in Belgium and in Spain. So three countries. We would love to expand it. We get a lot of requests for uh, Italy, of course, uh, Portugal, Germany, the Netherlands. But uh, you know, it, it, we need to to obtain a clearance in each uh, country from customs authorities and from tax authorities. And so that takes uh, some time and um, it, it's coming, it, it's coming. <laughs> I have no date yet, but uh, we are working on it, yeah. So watch this space. <laughs> watch this space indeed, yeah. <laughs> um, well, hopefully we've covered all the key points today. Um, is there anything else, anything else that I've missed? Any other questions that come up or things that people should know about? For UK residents, you know, since the 1st of January, 2021, they are now eligible to tax refunds in the in the EU. It's easy for them. I mean, of course, the first time you use Zap Tax, it, it needs to. I mean, you need to you know to spend a little time you know getting your profile in order. But once you've used it once, you know it's it's a breeze. And you know, with especially with UK residents, uh, you know, you have this notion of frequency. I think a lot of your readers uh, travel back and forth a lot. And so, you know, it adds up to uh, quite uh, significant amounts. They can take the, the Eurostar, they can take the plane, they can take the, the, the Euro tunnel. So, yeah, and we are, we are happy to, to help them, to provide support. Yeah, so I think there is a good opportunity for um, UK residents to, to use Apex. Yeah. 
Brilliant. And yeah, we've obviously focused quite a bit on UK residents today, but obviously, as we mentioned at the beginning, this is applicable to all non-EU residents, right? So Americans, mm -hmm. Australians, New Zealand, if you've got a second home in France or if you're just traveling, it's, yeah, this is a possibility for them as well. Yes, indeed. Brilliant. Well, John marie thank you so much for chatting with me today. Uh, if you want to find out more about Zaptax, you can go to zaptax.com. And if you want to download the app, you will find it on the App Store or Google Play. And you'll also find the direct links on the Zaptax website as well. And you can also find out more about VAT returns on frenchentree.com. And we'll pop all the links that you need in the description box. And if you do have any further questions for John marie or Zaptax, leave us a comment below. If you like today's video, do hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss a video. We will have lots of really useful content coming your way, whether you are looking to buy a property in France, move to France, or you just want the latest on traveling to France. And I will see you soon.